or when the other compulsions would come and the other side would appear is why can't I just go in the world of the world and dedicate myself into making money and buying more homes and building a business and being financially wealthy so I can just go and play around all the time and buy anything I want and do whatever I want to do. Forget about God. Forget about all these stories. That's just nonsense. It's bullshit. I only live this life and I want to dedicate it to the pleasure of senses. So I'm being torn in, in, in this transaction in between these two worlds. And it was very, very powerful, very painful, and it was a big struggle for years and years. Then awareness started to come. As the mind became more quiet, awareness started to increase. And listening and following my spiritual teacher, as my mind became quiet, then I could, my real eye started to open up and my real ears started to listen. I could start, began to hear what Papaji was teaching. I began to see because the mind started to quiet down and slowly, slowly, I was able to go beyond my story. Going beyond the story. You're with me? Are you here? Yeah, good. As I'm going beyond my story into the world of presence and silence, I begin to see that through the grace of my teacher, because I feel like there was no way in the world I could have come to this awareness if I had not met my teacher and if I had not surrendered to my teacher, I feel I would have never come to this. And I would be running around the world, banging my head against this wall and that wall and suffering ultimately, being happy when I got what I wanted and suffer when I didn't. So, Papaji always used to say, you are an expression of the Absolute. We are an expression of the Absolute. And he was saying it in different ways. But it wasn't clicking. And as the mind is becoming more quiet through his teaching, because the teaching was all about be quiet, keep quiet, he used to say, keep quiet. Be silent. But I wasn't getting it. I mean, a part of it was like I never had. It's the, today is a different era. We have, it's easier, you can sort of access to your teacher. Then it wasn't like this. It was a different story. They were there, but they weren't available in that way. So it was like really almost impossible to have a private time. You could have asked for it and you probably would get half an hour, but that wasn't enough. I wanted to be around the teacher. I wanted to be around an enlightened being to see how they're dealing with everyday life. And I wanted more. I wanted to drink it. 
I wanted the direct instructions. So you had to settle for whatever you got and then go sit with the rest of your peers and the rest of the sannyasins that they were at the satsang and just talk to them and try to process this and that and not everybody knew what was going on. So it was confusing. But I followed, I decided that I'm going to be quiet. I'm going to work on this. I surrender and I gotta keep it quiet, keep myself quiet. So you're quiet, you're still, you practice being still, practice being quiet, practice to be uh, Zen. And you go beyond the mind activities. And then I started to see and realize and he, that I am an expression of the Absolute. This is exactly what God wants me to be. My craziness, my desires for being worldly and my desires for being godly. This is exactly what existence, what the Spirit, Her Majesty, the Supreme Being, wants me to be. This is actually God itself appearing as a human being. His name is Zarathustra. And now Her Majesty is expressing itself as Zarathustra with all of his wisdom and his craziness. They're all in one package. So as I began to realize that, simultaneously I also realized that everybody else is also an expression of the same one Everybody else is an expression of the Absolute. Everybody else is also God. My teacher asked me and gave me a task. My homework was to go and pull the mask of everyone that I met, rip their mask off and look through to see beyond the mask who's there. A tremendous revelation took place. A shocking truth revealed itself. It was, it revolutionized my spiritual career and my spiritual development. As I pulled the mask of everyone that I encountered, I was shocked to see, <gasps> I was like, oh my God, no. Every time I was like, no, oh my God. Behind the mask of everyone that I ripped, whether they were nice or they were angry or they were pretty or attractive or not or seemed violent or vicious or friendly, beyond every mask that I pulled, I saw the same one. It was Her Majesty, the Supreme Being, in disguise as different people.